WHO in two weather, Kamaka Pili. Tomorrow is looking to be another beautiful day, just like today. Green for our rains. The jellyfish have gone deeper into the ocean. Our winds are low, and we're going to expect that to remain low. And the only threat, really, that we have in our weather, aside from the light winds, which isn't a threat, kind of is a threat, but is our ocean conditions. We have a high surf advisory in effect for north and west facing shores from now until tomorrow evening at 6 o'clock as this northwest swell, which arrived this evening, continues to flow through the islands until tomorrow. We're actually going to be seeing another northwest swell around Tuesday to bring back levels back up to about possibly advisory levels for the rest of the week. For south facing shores, we do have a southerly uh, swell coming in on Monday. For north facing shores, right now we're looking for tomorrow 12 to 15 footers for the west 8 to 12, 1 to 3 calmer conditions for south and east facing shores. East is expected to remain low as again our easterly trade winds this evening and in the early mornings of tomorrow will veer down towards the southeast and that's the direction we're, of wind we're going to have at least for into the middle of the week. Now that has to do with that high pressure system far towards the northeast. An extension of that sits right north of the islands. That extension will be pushed down over the islands as this next cold front creeps closer. Now with this cold front, we're not going to be seeing much moisture with this. We're really going to be seeing not much shower activity, a very uh, below average in terms of shower activity for April this year, at least for this upcoming week. The most shower or moisture that we may see really will be for Hawaii Island portions of Maui as the easterly flow really impacts Hawaii Island. But at that point, that's where the winds start to move up in a more southeasterly flow. So that's why we have lighter winds from Maui towards Kauai. Now what we're seeing for tomorrow here on Oahu, Another beautiful day, again, a lot of sunshine. We're not going to be seeing much shower activity at all. With these light and variable winds, inland areas of all islands could be seeing some afternoon cloud build up. We're not seeing much moisture or much showers that will be associated with that. But build up nonetheless. Really, Lanai is going to be, Lanai and Kona will be seeing the most uh, thickest cloud coverage tomorrow, even though tomorrow morning Kona doesn't expect any shower activity. And from here all the way through the rest of the state, we're seeing zero chances of rainfall tomorrow morning. So a beautiful day. And that's what we're going to be seeing tomorrow. Once we get to Monday, we may uh, see just a slight increase for showers for the east end of the state. Again, mainly for Hawaii Island, as they still have more of a easterly flow in their wind flow and that could be bringing in some moisture. But what we're really seeing and waiting for is Thursday. That's when the, e the easterly trades will return. More shower activity for windward sides will return from that point on leading into the weekend. But up until then, enjoy a lot of the sunshine. Go out, catch those waves if you have a chance. But remember, go back home and stay safe. Sam, toss it back to you.